We are going to show how to put a bridle on the horse as well using the lovely Elmer. So first, a lot of the bridles will look different. There are many different styles of bridles. The very first thing that I look at is where do the horse's ears go? So these are gonna be the horse's ears. So that helps me know this is the brow band that's gonna go in front. This is my throat latch that'll go um, underneath his jaw. Then what I like to do is I put my right hand up on top. So I've got the top part on my right hand. I bring my left hand down on the bottom. And then I'm gonna bring that bit up into his mouth. I just put a little downward pressure on the top of his, um, on kind of through his bottom jaw here. I just kind of put my finger there. He opens it up and I'm gonna tuck his ears forward into it. I'll adjust my brow band and his beautiful mane. Okay, there should be about one wrinkle on the side of his mouth where his lips come together. That's how we know that bit isn't dangling and going to clunk on his teeth. And when I put my finger into his mouth, it needs to be right where that crease is because there aren't teeth there, okay? Then I grab onto my throat latch here and we're gonna buckle that underneath. The throat latch shouldn't be snugged up really tight. We should be able to fit at least, you know, our hand um, through it like this. Our fingers should be able to run through it because when your horse collects and kind of tucks their neck, it's like us that we kind of get a, our, our chin gets a little thicker. So we want to make sure that our horse has room to move that way. Okay, so that's how we put the bridle on. Then we're going to put our reins up and over the top of his head just like so. Good boy. And then we'll show you how to take it off. So you just do the reverse. You bring your reins down like this. And you don't want your reins to be hanging down on the ground. I just kind of loop them over my arm because you don't want your horse to accidentally step a foot through it or bust a rein or feel nervous. Then we're going to unbuckle our throat latch just like this. So I don't mess with these buckles at all. I leave them set how they are for the horse. Unbuckle my throat latch, excuse me. Then I'm going to bring this uh, head stall forward and you'll see the horse will kind of just spit it right back out of his mouth just like that. Easy peasy. We'll demonstrate it one more time without me saying a word. I'll just do what we do. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, good boy. Should we take it off? Okay, hold it down. Perfect. We always want to, again, when you're putting their ears into the head saw or taking it off, you want to bring their ears forward. It seems to be more comfortable, at least for all the horses at the ZJ farm, if their ears come forward, versus if you're trying to pull their ear back to get it tucked in. So always think about Ears forward means a happy horse, so do everything bringing their ears forward. And that's how we do our bridle. <laughs> good boy. You're so good. You're so good.